hey everyone, we can take those old RMD tables and we can throw them right out the window because moving into 2022, uh, IRS has updated RMD tables, updated the amount that you're gonna need to take from your tax deferred accounts and inherited IRAs moving forward in 2022 and beyond. Now, these changes aren't a surprise. We've known about these changes for a little while. Previously, they talked about implementing these changes January 1st of 2021. They then moved it back to January 1st of 2022. So if you took a RMD previously on either a tax deferred account or an inherited IRA, Moving forward, you need to update your RMD tables and you're gonna be subject to take a different amount. Now, the good news here is, normally when we take the wrong RMD, we are subject to a 50% penalty in the amount that we miscalculated that RMD. The good news here is that the RMD tables adjusted so you're taking less from your tax deferred and inherited IRAs. So if you're using the previous rules, the previous RMD rules, you're likely just gonna be taking a larger RMD than you need to going forward into the future. Obviously that will subject you to different tax consequences, but there won't be any penalties. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about what these RMD rules changed, if they changed the formula or if they just changed the tables and how you can make sure moving forward into the future that you're taking the right RMD for your situation. Now, if you end up liking this video, the best thing that you can do is hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button. It'll help other retirees just like yourself find this video and hopefully gain some value from this video. So let's go ahead and move forward. So for those that don't know, how much you need to take from your given IRAs or from an inherited IRA is dependent on the RMD formula. And the RMD formula is pretty uh, simple overall, but again, you wanna make sure you're calculating RMDs, right? Because if you miss an RMD, you have a 50% penalty in the amount that you miscalculated, that you undercalculated. So this RMD formula is pretty simple, all things considered. You take your previous year's ending balance. So whatever your inherited IRA or your traditional IRA was, the value of it on December 31st, you take your previous year's ending balance, and then you're gonna divide by a given distribution factor. Now this distribution factor is what's changing with these RMD tables that are updating. This distribution factor will also change based on which RMD table you're subject to. But again, this distribution factor here is essentially this half of the formula that is changing. The overall formula is not adjusting. So let's talk through the details of this change. I'm gonna make my head just a little bit smaller here. And basically what we're gonna see here on the left-hand side is the current uniform lifetime table. On the right-hand side, we're gonna see the new uniform lifetime table. And again, this is for those that are taking an RMD in 2022 and beyond. This is gonna change for all future RMDs that you might have to take. And so we know based on the SECURE Act, they changed the age that you must take an RMD from your individual accounts from age 70 and a half back to age 72. Part of the reason they did this was essentially we've been seeing retirees longevity increase. And so they want to update RMD tables uh, to that longevity increase. So they moved back the RMD age, but they didn't change any of the distribution factors until now. And so basically what you're gonna see here in layman's terms is essentially they've moved back the distribution factors two years as well. So previously we see here that when you turn 70 and a half, your first distribution factor would be 27.4. So again, going back to this formula, if you had a million dollar traditional IRA and your distribution factor was 27.4, you essentially had to divide a million dollars by 27.4 to find out what your RMD would be. They've now essentially moved this back again, two years. So they're basically just updating all of these to move back to the Secure Act numbers of taking RMDs at age 72. And so what you'll see here is 27.4 now is your distribution factor at age 72. At age 71, your previous factor was 26.5. Again, they've moved that back. Now your distribution factor at age 73 is 26.5. 72, your previous distribution factor was 25.6. For some of you that just began RMDs at age 72, this was your distribution factor last year. Well, now at age 74, you'll notice there's even a slight adjustment here where there's not only a two year move back on that RMD distribution factor, but also a 0.1% adjustment. And so basically as you go through this table, what you'll see is for the most part, essentially they were just moved back slightly. Specifically in those first few years, there's a few different changes in the back few years as well. But what does this mean? Well, for those that have the same balance as they did last year, you're likely gonna be taking, again in layman's terms, a lower RMD this year than last year. Now, if your accounts have grown substantially, you might be taking a similar, if not higher RMD, depending on how much your tax deferred accounts have grown. But 
overall, the distribution factor lowering or at least being pushed back two years is going to subject many of you to a lower RMD moving forward into this next year. Now, that's very good news. It means that, okay, if you need the RMD, great. You're forced to take that RMD. If you need RMD or if you need distributions on top of that RMD, you can still take those distributions. But for those that don't need that RMD, you're now subject to take less from your accounts. This is good news. So who does this all affect? Well, it affects those that are subject to RMDs. So if you have a tax deferred account and you're over the age of 72, well, now your RMD tables, again, moving forward will change. If you inherited an IRA pre-2020, it will affect you as well. And so those that inherited IRAs pre-2020 were under stretch rules. 2020, the Secure Act changed this. So those that inherited IRA accounts after 2020 are subject to now that 10-year rule that the Secure Act implemented. For those that inherited, let's say, in 2018, moving forward into the future, you'll have to recalculate your given RMDs. And the single joint and uniform tables are all adjusted. So based on the given RMD table that you're subject to, based on your situation, you might have a slightly different RMD, but all of those have lowered and adjusted moving forward. And so what's the impact of this change? Well, on the screen right now, I have the long-term difference looking at a million-dollar static portfolio through time. And basically what we see with RMDs in general, the older that you get, the more you're subject to take out of those traditional IRAs, those tax-deferred accounts. And so under the old rules in blue here, you'll see that you're forced to take slightly more moving through time. You'll notice these meet later in life as the distribution factors essentially converge. But for the first couple decades, essentially, you're going to be able to take a lower RMD under the new RMD rules versus those old RMD rules. And again, this makes sense. We're basically moving that distribution factor back essentially two years, all things considered. Now, this chart right here, because we're essentially zooming out and looking at it through time, and we have essentially some pretty large values over there on the y-axis with the R annual RMD, it's very difficult to see how much your RMD will change under these new rules. So let's dive a little bit deeper and look at snapshots of given years here. So let's say that you're age 78. Your previous year's ending balance for your tax-deferred account was $1.2 million. You have this in a traditional IRA. So under the old RMD rules, your RMD rounded up to the nearest dollar would be $59,114. Well, under those new RMD rules, essentially you're going to be able to take just under $5,000 less from your given tax-deferred account in this year. And so your RMD is updated to $54,546 now. So again, about a slightly less than a $5,000 difference here. So that's at age 78. Let's say that 10 years later at age 88, Again, just for hypothetical reasons, let's say this person still has $1.2 in their IRA. Obviously, as they're taking withdrawals, as they're taking RMDs, as growth changed through that 10 years, who knows if they would actually have a million point two in their given traditional IRA. But again, just to uh, show an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, age 88, $1.2 in an IRA. Old RMD rules, this person would be subject to a $94,489 RMD. It lowers by about $7,000 with the new RMD rules to $87,592. So again, across the board, we see that these updated RMD rules essentially lower your liability for what you're forced to take from those given tax deferred accounts. All things considered, this is great news for those that are tax planning going forward into the future. It minimizes RMDs to an extent uh, and leaves a little bit more room for, again, dealing with those RMDs on an ongoing basis. And so don't forget to update your RMDs. Again, we'll see a lot of calculators probably towards the end of the year updates so you can calculate out those given RMDs. Custodians will be up to date with a lot of these RMDs as well, but make sure your, your advisor is also notifying you of these given RMD changes. The two people that want to make sure that they're updating their RMDs, those that have tax deferred accounts and are over the age of 72, also those that inherited an IRA pre-2020, each of these groups of people will see their RMDs change going forward into the... Hopefully this video was informational. All things considered, these RMD table changes are good for tax planning reasons. It means you're forced to take out less from your IRAs. Again, we want to avoid in tax planning being forced to take income at any given point. We want to be able to choose what's most optimal for our situation. And these RMD rules help us gain a little bit more flexibility with RMDs moving forward in the future. Always remember, you don't need more money. You need a better plan. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button. We release videos on a weekly basis on how you can gain more from your retirement plan to improve your retirement. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of the day. We will see you in the next video.